How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors way back. It's a projection. Of course, see. Of course I'm not. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Yeah. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Mm. I was told this place would fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now yeah. move on already. Got some new hardware. <laughs> Motorcycle, not motor... A washing machine type of motor. <laughs> That's tough. Rather let it eat away at me a bit more. Fear of death is what drives us all to do what we do. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in hey. all of Night City? Wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. But then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in dreamland. I just want the world to know I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased. As if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? Death is death is death. You're gone. Game over. You can't know that for certain. Even if you've been there and back. Believe me, I've seen it. And it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since. Or for what's to come. What I've been through... Tough to move on from that. Death was something that happened to other people. Hell that I dealt to others. Now my number will be up. Wasn't enough I died once. Have to go and do it again. Death's absurdity. The futile struggle before. These terrify you. <sighs> so what now? Uh. Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have. You go through Night City, knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. 
Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do. But everything has its end. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Oh yeah, I'm good. Got the new hardware. What a cycle! A lot of things have been going on in my head lately. But this was... different. Refreshing. That's what we do at Clouds. I get why people come here. Come back. But... I need something else. Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat. But she could be in trouble. Just wanted to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out, and maybe gone. Oh, I see. Anything out of the ordinary happen here lately? Fine. Yeah, I have Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turned out to be useful after all. This short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex up. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. You need sure. to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Try calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman. Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. I see. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? <laughs> yeah. He's kind of like our caretaker. I know it is. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges and his dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. <coughs> Finally! Some real action!
Got it. Got some new hardware. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. <laughs> <laughs>